guys so we are at sapphire lake we're fishing jack lake and uh, it's a specimen lake and it's uh it's got loads of chunky carp in here <laughs> right up my street so yeah uh basically i'm gonna be doing three days 72 hours so uh you know hopefully we can get these fish feeding you know it's uh Looking at the place, it's absolutely stunning. You know, it's it's around four and a half acre and it's got a few islands and a few dips here, here and there and a few bars and uh, some reeds as well. So it's it's looking carpy. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's good being back, bivying up, you know. We've waited a long while. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. But the weather forecast, as you can see, The sun is beating down. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. I believe like we're gonna get in our twenties for a few days and then it's gonna dip off. So yeah, uh, the fish are probably gonna be be high up, but you know I'm gonna be uh fishing the uh, low down to be honest with you. I'm gonna be out to that island but I've been having a look and uh yeah the birds seem to be uh the blackbirds, the coots seems to be nipping off the food like so i'm gonna go a bit deeper you know uh, probably three quarters of a way across so so there uh, that's the plan so uh yeah i mean uh, it's just good to be out in it nature again <laughs> seeing all the uh the birds behaving wildly over there like you know i think the the mating or it's a territorial thing like but uh yeah Going to enjoy this one, so uh, as the old saying goes, let's get fishing. Ah!
Right guys, so yeah, we're here, Sapphire, yeah, so uh, I've just been having a look at the water, you know, trying to work the place out, it's a new venue for me, so, you know, uh, any little clues to the puzzle, but <laughs> I'm trying to find out, like, so yeah, I've been mapping the uh, the floor out, and uh, yeah, it goes to around about six foot where I am, so it, it dips off into the centre. But uh, yeah, it's full of siltweed at the bottom, which, you know, in some places, you know, it's a nightmare, but it's good to fish, you know, if, if you can present that bait well, which I'm going to fish a nice pop up about two inches off the deck, you know, just above that siltweed, they will go in that, they love that siltweed, the carp, so yeah, I'm uh, planning on that, like, I've got two rods out into the centre, and uh yeah, I've got one in the margin here, you know, just there uh, by the reeds there, like, you know, so my options are open, like, all the way through, so what I, if I see anything, you know, I'll go for it, but if not, you know, the plan's looking good, so it's, uh, I'm just going to put a nice bit of bed of bait out there and uh, get the PVA bag out and, you know, get that uh, pop-up rig out, you know, it's... Nothing's happened at the moment, it's, it's quiet, but, you know, as as these water temperatures rise a little, you know, that could, you know, trigger something, so we're going to hope and wait, you know, it's a waiting game, isn't it, carp fishing, so, yeah, I'm enjoying my time here, it's in uh, Nock Nottinghamshire, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good place, I recommend it, you know, Sapphire Lake, so there's two lakes, a smaller one and this one 
So yeah, we're gonna uh, enjoy this heat. I'm probably taking my top off later, you know. <laughs> it's, that, it's that warm, you know, but yeah, it's uh, it's looking carpy. <laughs> right guys, see you later. Right guys, so my bait, spicy shrimp and prawn, 15 mil boilies, you know, mixed with pellet, halibut pellets, 6 mils and 8 mils, and it's all, you know, juiced up with the krill liquid, so it's very fishy, and it's been doing the business, so yeah guys, that's it, so here it is, lovely lovely stuff lovely and fishy you know what i mean it's been soaked for a few nights so Right, so we are going into dark. <laughs> Got the thermal camera on, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the fish are on top. You know the basking, and I've seen quite a few shoals of them. You know, I've I've spotted <laughs> spotted about twenty now, like big ones, and they're just basking. You know, getting that warmth on the back. You know, they're not interested in bait. You know, through the day, so the bite time is really looking when the sun goes down. You know, uh, dusk and dawn, and maybe in the middle of the night, they'll get the heads down and feed. But yeah, I've just been watching them. It's nice watching them on top of the surface because uh, you learn you learn a bit about them, you know. But they are they slow down a bit and they're just getting the warmth. So that's it. Right, see you later, guys. There you go, 22 one ounce common from Sapphire Lake. I've had my rods out 14 hours to get this bad boy. What a stunning beauty it is. I'm absolutely made up, I can't believe it. You know, it's in perfect condition, which you expect from Sapphire Lake. But yeah, this is one of the beauties. So there you go, guys. Absolutely chuffed. guys so yeah he uh, baited up around about five or six yesterday 
and it uh i woke up this morning and uh yeah it was it was, it was looking good for a bite it was early doors like around about six so the, the sun was just coming up and uh yeah i seen a bit of fizzing and a bit of feeding in my area and i thought you know what there's fish you know in and around that area so yeah, i was looking forward to it i was hoping i'd get a bite and an hour went by and then two hours went by and i thought you know what probably a false alarm and then i was just sat there and all of a sudden it weren't even a screaming run either it was just a beep 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 so he hit into it and <laughs> yes come on <laughs> i actually uh i got a common in yeah landed in the net so well happy it ended up being a, a 22 two ounce common and the colors it was just a spectacular fish you know perfect scaling on it you know that's what you want that's what you get at sapphire lake so the fish are healthy and uh yeah it had a lovely dark back as well like uh, so yeah i like that type of stuff i mean there's a lot of old english carp in here so yeah it's it's uh right up my street it's i'm just there uh, i'm made up come on <laughs> It's been a while since I've had the 20 like so you know uh, that'll do me so we're gonna plug on and hopefully try and get another like but if not you know that'll do me I've had a, a nice session here so uh, yeah I've got another day left another night and day and then night and then I'm going so uh, come on let's try and get one eh? you know there's a there's around 80 carp in here to be honest with you 90 carp you know a lot of mid doubles there's a good head of mid doubles and 20s in here and i believe there's one or two 30s so you know the fish are a good size and uh yeah i've seen a few pictures as you always have a look and i, I think you know what i wouldn't mind getting my name on one of them so i've managed to do it once let's see if i can do it twice <laughs> right see you later guys right guys tactics so uh, i'm fishing a scopex squid it's been uh put in krill liquid as well that's been trimmed down to like a barrel shape around about 16 mil 15 mil uh, there's the pva bag which is just going to get it out as well and here's my rig an inline semi-fixed running lead uh, i've got two uh anti-tangle sleeves on either side and a, tail, and a tail rubber that goes in and that'll come out when the fish hits it it's a three ounce lead that so yeah all the way to a quarter 20 20 pound and i've stripped the edge so this will float about two inches off the deck so it goes like that which there's about an inch of silt weed at the bottom so yeah that'll work perfectly that i mean the hook will come up as well but yeah I'll, normally i uh i'll put a shrink tube here and keep it tight to the hook but i'm just trying something a bit different and letting it, it waft around a bit more so yeah and i'm also fishing a, a back lead as well you know pinning it to the ground so yeah three rods two rods out in the middle one in the margin so yeah they're the tactics guys pink seems to be the way
Right guys, so we're going into night number two and yeah, <laughs> another amazing bay today, you know. No fish, well I caught one this morning, a nice big common, uh, beautiful fish. I mean like it, it was proper bite time in the morning, you know, the, the uh, pressure's a bit lower, you know, because the last two days, you know, last two days have been really hot and warm, so it's been in the 20s, so I've, I've been looking around and the fish are on top again, you know, they're basking, they're swimming slowly and, you know, it's nice to watch, but it's hard getting them feeding, so, you know, you've just got to sit and chill, you know, and wait for bite time, but, you know, I reckon bite time's going to be, you know, any time, you know, dusk and dawn, so, yeah, maybe the night, you know, when the pre low pressure and the temperatures drop, so, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying my time here, Sapphire, been good to me you know uh, plenty of big fish in here you know and it's it's a nice relaxed environment and you know just being it being a being at one with nature again in it you know especially this uh camping night fishing again you know it's you can't beat it can you you know watching the sun go down and watching the night come in and stuff like that that's why we get out here in it you know apart from catching big fish <laughs> but yeah you know uh Hopefully I'll get a couple of spots out there again and uh, try and get them feeding, you know. I'm on a pop-up, so I'm on the bottom, so we've got to wait for these fish to come down, but we will do eventually. Hopefully tonight, eh? Right, guys, see you later. guys so it is packing up time <laughs> yeah uh, it's gone nippy it's gone chilly now yeah, our weather system's crazy in it you know does it you know it doesn't want to make up its mind does it one minute like i have my top off for the two days and then the next minute i have five layers on so yeah it spoiled the fishing in the end the last day was a bit of a dud so uh yeah packing up time i've enjoyed my time here i've actually bagged one yes and I'm happy about that lovely common. So yeah, this Sapphire Lake, I recommend it. You know, it's a beautiful place. I bet you this place is even better in the summer, you know, with the big reeds coming up and stuff like that. So yeah, I might re, re come back to this place, like, you know, so it's one of them in it, but it's about 6 a.m. in the morning, so I've got to pack up. <laughs> but yeah, onwards and upwards, eh, the season, will continue and yeah I'm, I'm happy you know what I mean the fish are waking up and feeding at least one or two of them are the big ones anyway right guys see you later